Ben Harvey from the Advertiser. Um, mate, what's it been like the rolling this morning? Obviously, New Year, fresh start, and the excitement around the club, and um, yeah, so what's the mood? Yeah, I, well, I think a lot of excitement. I mean, we're, we couldn't be keener to get started from a coaching point of view and also players. When you come off a, a year that's probably not the, the, at the level that you want it to be at, um, you're just keen to get back into it. So it felt like a, a longer break this year. I guess we had eight years after New Year, sorry, eight days after New Year's. Um, but the players are, are chomping at the bit to get out there. So we'll, hopefully we'll get a good session in straight away. And what about um, personal challenges for yourself this year? Like, you set any kind of goals or anything that you want to achieve? From a, from a coaching point yeah, of view? Yeah, just a personal point of view. Oh, look, I've, I've stepped into a new role, so I've come in as a senior assistant to Ken. So I'm doing what I can over this this sort of pre-season um, and now coming into NAB Cup to make sure that his job's a lot easier, take a little bit of weight off of, off of him. And, um, yeah, we've worked well up to Christmas. We feel like, uh, as a coaching group, that we've made some really big steps this year. Um, you know, simplifying a lot of stuff for our players and, and they've really enjoyed the, the pre-Christmas training sessions and now it's a matter of following that on through to NAB Cup. You coached the team for a couple of games, in the, I think it was a couple of years ago in the 2015 series there in the pre-season. Is there a plan for, to do that again this year? No, not at this stage. Not at this stage. We're, we're pretty keen to go into the NAB Cup and play a reasonably strong side in the NAB Cup and Kenny's keen to get his teeth into actually coaching that group and, and being the, you know, basically holding the reins for it. I mean, our coaching group really do work as one, so it, it wouldn't really matter who was, was leading as a coach, but I think for Ken to be there, it does give that players, this is, we're into it, this is real. So um, at this stage, we haven't planned for that. How have you found that adjustment? You know, obviously you were coaching the forwards last season, you've now handed that over to Brendan Lay. Yep. How have you found taking a, a more holistic approach to it and looking at, you know, game trends and stuff like that? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. It's, um, you know, it's a different challenge. Um, Having Lady come in has been fantastic because he's, he's such an experienced campaigner. He's just slipped straight into that role and we have very similar views on football and we've been able to work together you know, to try and get that transition for our forwards group as smooth as possible. Um, but working with our group, you know, Nathan Bassett's one of the best operators in the game. You know, Vossi's been fantastic in, in the midfield. So part of my role is, is helping Ken out with connecting those groups together and, and um, I feel that's worked really well up to this point. There obviously was some change in the coaching you know, uh, situation obviously with yourself stepping up, but also with Gary Hocking not having his contract renewed. Is there a bit of a, I suppose, a bit of a pressure on, on everyone, players, coaches, that if there's, um, you know, performances aren't there on the field, that there might be changes again at the end of this season? Yeah, yeah, it's a good way to be. You know, to have that pressure on, it's, you think back to, you know, your playing days, it's when the pressure's on, it's where you perform your best. If you're a competitor, and a lot of us are, you, you want to feel that pressure. So, you know, yeah, where well, there's pressure on the whole club. For the coaches, players, you know, admin, everyone, and um, and we embrace that. I think we're really looking forward to a, a challenging year, uh, one which we're excited about improving. There's still that belief that you have the playing group. Obviously, not many changes at the end of last season, the trade week and stuff like that. The club didn't do a lot. There's still that belief that you guys can, you know, be a finals team. Oh, look, we're we're doing one session at a time at the moment. We got some fantastic recruits in this year. I think everyone did. I think it was a strong draft, but we were really happy with the guys we picked up. And they've come in and almost almost lifted the joint from from the bottom up. So we we couldn't be happier with the guys we've got in the new players. As you said, we didn't make a lot of you know big changes from our original list, um, but we're really excited about what this year offers. Um, we've got a lot of improving to do, and we're doing it session by session. Um, and and that'll start this morning. Before you know it, we'll be into NAB Cup. It feels like you know all of a sudden we're trying to go. Wow, well, we're we're not far off, um, but we're really looking forward to it. Is it plan to give all those? Sorry, is it plan to give all the, the young draftees? Obviously, they a bit behind. They came in a bit later than the rest of the group. Is it plan to give them time game? Oh, sorry, game time in the JLT Community Series when that kicks off in the February. Look, well, if if a player's ready and we feel it's going to benefit them and make them improve and develop faster, then we'll, we'll get them in as soon as we can. Some of the guys we have that have come in have performed really well in our match practice, and you know we can't ask for more than that. A lot of them are. Uh, probably at a level at the moment that we're, you know, we're reasonably confident we may see some of them this year. Taking uh, some of that the workload and the pressure off Ken, you mentioned, was that something that the club decided that was one of the issues um, in the past couple yeah. of years that you needed to do that? Oh, not, not so much an issue. I think it's more about how can we operate better as a coaching group. You know, we're always trying to improve as, as we are with our players. We, we're trying to make the coaching group run as effectively as possible. And we felt that, you know, if Ken had a, a little bit more support in that area, 
um, that maybe he could spend more time with our players. And, and Ken's one of the coaches in the AFL that spends the most time you'll ever see. But if we can add to that, um, you know, that coach-player relationship's massive. And we feel that, um, you know, that our team will benefit from that small change. And keeping him relaxed and calm in the box, is that your uh, job now as well? Yeah, that'll, that'll be. I mean, that's, that's all of us. We're all trying to stay calm in the box. And, you know, sometimes you, you get into games and the pressure gets on and all of a sudden you, you feel like you're out in the ground. You want to get down there and play. But um, we've got to understand our role on a game day. You know, we do a lot of work during the week and, and we're extremely busy trying to make our, our team perform. Come game, day, come, come game day, there's a, a few small things we can do, but at the same time, we've got to get to a point where our players lead, you know, come a game day, and that's, that's something we're really pushing and, and trying to get from the group. Nixie, where's, uh, where's Charlie Dixon at at the yep. moment? Obviously, he had a bit of ankle surgery in yep. November, I think it was. Is he sort of good to go at the start of the training now? Or? Yeah, he won't train fully at this point, but he's back out now uh, moving around, and he's, he's pain-free, so we're really happy with where he's at. Confident that we should start to see him out kicking more balls around soon. He's done a hell of a lot of work on, on, his, uh, on areas of his game that he's wanted to improve, and it's been an opportunity for him to do that. So, you know, even though he's been limited from a physical getting out there and compete point of view, we've, we've been really happy with what he's bought um, you know, pre-Christmas. So is he going to be right for the start of the, the pre-season games? Yeah, we'd be keen to look at getting him back, but we won't be rushing him at all. It'll be something that we'll make a decision come those NAB Cup games. Um, were you pretty happy with uh, look, overall his first season at the club last year? Oh, we, we couldn't have asked for more from a, a point of view of effort. What he brought to the group, uh, both on and off field. Um, there's obviously going to be a, a period where the players get used to uh, what, what does Charlie want, where, what does he need, where's he looking for the football. Um, we'll only be better coming into this year and, and you know, he's worked with some of our leaders and with Travis and Robbie Gray on just connecting you know, the two areas together and hopefully we see some improvement in that area. Um, and just on, yeah, yeah, on the other injured, injured guys, you know, Angus Monfries and Jack Hompsch, and, um, are they sort of looking to be right for the preseason? Yeah, Gussie Monfries probably a little bit further off. Homsch is out training at the moment, yeah. um, so that's great to have him back out there. He's just slotted straight back in. He's he's the ultimate professional. So we, um, you know, we're expecting Homsch to really sort of knuckle down now and and be looking at NAB Cup. Yep. and getting some real form in through that. Gussie's a little bit, bit, a bit off at this point, um, but we'll be expecting him out on the track shortly. Is that the shoulder with Gussie? Is that yeah, he's a little bit, yeah. From so a, when you say it's a bit off, he's, he's in doubt for that first preseason? Uh, no, I'm, I'd have to have a chat with Burjo about exact date, but yeah. it's more about we want to get enough training into him where he's got a little bit of contact in it rather than just throwing him straight into a, uh, you know, a full nab match. It's a big... It's a big sort of, um, I suppose, a, a stumbling block for him, though, or just an impediment, I suppose, given he's missed a year of footy, to have this sort of hiccup happen this time, this time of year. Yeah, it's not ideal. I mean, yeah. everyone wants to do a full pre-season, but, I mean, where Gussie is as well, we've got to remember, he's an experienced player. It's, it's not like he's a young player where he needs a full pre-season. Um, you know, he's an older player. We would have managed his, his load through this period. Yeah. Obviously, not to the point we have. Yeah. We, we'd love to have him out there. That would be ideal, but... Um, I don't think it's going to hurt Gussie too much. I think he's reasonably experienced in this area. And Logan Austin's coming along pretty well too. Yeah, and we're seeing some really good progress with Logs. Um, you know, Houston will be back out shortly. Uh, a few of our younger guys who have been through the rehab period as well. That you know, we're now get, starting to get a, a real good, good list back on the track. So you, know, you train pre-Christmas with sort of mid-30s, and now we're starting to tick that up around the 40 mark, which is a really good sign from total players. And just what did Houston have? What was the injury that he had? Uh, yeah, what's Huey's? What's Huey's injury? Uh, I think Huey might have been yeah down around ankle. ankle. I'll have to look that up for you. So it's really only um, Dougal Howard who's sort of going. To yeah, and Dougie's going to be Dougie's going to be a fair way off. I yeah. mean, he's he's very nine very nine late nine. in the year. Yeah. Um, again, it's for, from Dougie's point of view, he's been able to work on some key areas yeah. that we want him to improve in, and I think from a long term point of view, he'll benefit from missing. Be it you know you don't want anyone to miss the way he has. So you say very late in the year, so the second half of the season? We're looking around halfway and then what we see from that point on. Obviously, he finished last year. You know, he played some really good games for us last year mm. before doing, the, doing his, his knee, but we're, you know, we're really happy with where he's, how he's progressing.